Thanks for watching. Today we're going to cut a body for my team associated DR10. So for my no prep drag car that you have not seen on the channel yet. Um, what you are looking at right now is this IROC Camaro. This is a 1985 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z28. Is it a Z28? Anyway, we're going to cut this. We're going to make this fit to the chassis. I have been, I know that a lot of YouTubers say, oh, we're getting a lot of questions about, I have actually been getting a lot of questions about how I cut bodies. And I use the score and snap technique. Um, I do not own Lexan scissors. I, uh, I don't like them either. I think they're very clumsy. I think the end result that you get from them really sucks. So what I use is my X-Acto knife. What I usually do is I uh, use new blade in every paint scheme. So for every to cut out my masking for every uh, paint job, and then that same blade, since it's not like super dull yet, I use that for the next project. I use it to uh, score and snap the body. You will most likely lose the tip uh, at some point during your cut work, uh, seeing that this does require quite a bit of uh, pressure and whatnot. This, however, this is not a dull blade. It will still cut, it will still kill. Um, I'm not sure if you are also a Fortune Fire fan, but I am. Uh, so this is just a perfect tool to get your stuff done and also to make sure that you don't have like a drawer full of crap that you really don't need to use. After I cut it, I will sand it down using a protoform sanding block. So I have one over here, I'm not sure if, yeah, this one is actually good. Um, you can get like replacement sanding belts for them as well, also from a protoform. I will make sure that there's a link to these products in the video description box. And also, if you are on the ProLine Racing website, it could be for the body, it could be for wheels and tires, it could be for a protoform sanding block. Use the code HEMISTORM10 or HEMI10 to get a 10% discount. I will bring the camera in a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, this is truly a matter of confidence and just being completely at ease with what you're doing and also potentially with messing it up. It's very simple in, uh, in its shape. So there's a lot of uh, straight lines. There's, uh, apart from of course the wheel arches, there's not a lot of curves going on. There's also a, a bootlet spoiler. So you can truly trick it out, make it ready for the drag strip. And that's exactly what we're going to do over here. Now, I feel pretty confident that we will be able to see and hit this line in the very bottom. If you're not, if you're perhaps you're a bit, uh, uh, you have poor eyesight or uh, you don't have like great lighting, uh, then you can of course, you can take a Sharpie and you can accentuate that line a bit so it becomes a bit easier to uh, hit it. Uh, how it works with Lexan is this is thermoform. This used to be a flat piece that they then uh, heated up and vacuum formed over uh, a shape. Uh, that's also why you need to wash the inside of it because there's a lot of uh, uh, residue but it also means that, uh, seeing that it gets shaped like this, I have mentioned this in a couple of videos, uh, whatever sits on the top is a bit thicker than uh, stuff that sits on the bottom, just because this is truly stretched. So if you would want to cut this uh, side window out, you will be having a lot uh, more difficulty to do that than if you just want to cut uh, like the, the shape of the body, so below the, the door sill. I hope that makes uh, sense. None of this stuff is difficult to cut, absolutely nothing. If you would want to cut a hood vent, for example, that would be a lot more difficult than cutting uh, this front bumper. Um, I think that's enough explanation. Let's just uh, break this blade out and see what it does. So in here, this we're just gonna cut with more uh, pressure than I would cut my masking with. I think uh, if you have some scraps, you will have some scraps of course after uh, cutting this body out, but uh, keep, hold on to those because it will really make you aware of how much pressure you can put on a uh, Lexan before it starts to rip apart. Here we go, check it out. This was only one pass and it's already coming off really easy and see that I really didn't need to put a lot of force on it to snap if you do have sections that are perhaps a bit thicker and you do need to force it make sure that you don't distort the lexan to the point where it has folded over on itself because then you will end up having a crease that you will see for the duration of the body's life so you just use whatever uh, fingers you have available 
to really make a super slow pass around that uh, wheel arch or around like any type of difficult section inside this uh, this RC body. If you think that you haven't scored it deep enough, you can always go back and give it another pass. There we go. And then you carefully peel out those wheel arches. Now this is a pretty, um, a pretty good looking finish as it is. You will see that there's not a ton wrong with it, but there's still there's some minor, some minor damage in there. And the thing is that if you would crash this, if there's like a tiny, teeny tiny rip, you you risk having like a complete split in that section. So just sand it down. Uh, that only takes like a couple of minutes to do the entire body. So all of your edges, and it will make sure that it uh, will hold up a bit longer. Done. Well, we still have to win. Well, I still need to ream the holes for the body, but apart from that, it's all cut and it's all good. And I'm gonna do a tiny bit. I'm still really bad at muting my stuff. <laughs> still gonna do a tiny bit of sanding, then I'm going to wash this body and start masking up because I actually have a really cool paint scheme in mind for this uh, Camaro. If you want to have links to any of the products that I mentioned, go check out uh, the links in the video description box. Uh, there will also be a link to the Team Associated DR10, which is a super popular chassis for a good reason. I will be uh, painting this one up most likely in the next video that you will see available on the channel. If you want to stay up to date, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. It is free. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the box below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button before you go. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you around. Right. Back on.